It's important to consider the total look when we assess ourselves in the mirror. It's the sum of the parts that influences what the eye sees. Volume is key to giving a female face natural, smooth curves. And yet in different ways, volume also gives strength and structure to a man's face. Our faces lose volume over time. It's a natural process that happens to us all. Volume loss or deficiency occurs in eight distinct areas of the face. You can notice this volume loss by the shadows it can create in the facial area. Often these skin depressions also make you look tired when you actually feel fine. It's at these points that a difference can be made. To understand where volume loss is seen the most, let's take a closer look at these eight key areas. Volume at the cheekbone gives structure and a youthful definition to the face. Were your cheeks fuller when you were younger? Look in a mirror and tilt your head down. Looking up, have a look at your cheeks. Is there flatness where you once had a smooth curve? Our third point is tear troughs. Hollow depressions in this area under the eyes can give us a tired look. Again, tilt your head down slightly, eyes looking up into a mirror. Is there shadowing under the eyes? Are there some depressions in the skin around the cheek? This may be a common feature in your family or due to volume loss in the face as we age. Nasolabial folds are the static lines that occur in this area. These deepen with increasing severity as we age, as soft tissue gradually pushes down our face. Look at yourself in the mirror. Smile. Now relax. Are the lines that run from the corners of your nose and mouth still present? Do these lines look more like folds these days? A fifth distinct area where facial volume is lost is at the corners of the mouth. Especially as we age, the corners of the mouth can droop and give you a sad look. Looking in the mirror, can you see hollowing at the corners of your mouth? Now pinch the skin in this area. Does the skin fault? Volume loss here can get progressively worse as we age. Gravity gradually redistributes soft facial tissue downward, causing jowls and depressions in the lower face. Tilting your head down slightly, with your eyes looking up at the mirror, you may see the beginning of jowl formation. Your profile is also revealing. Have a look at yourself in profile, preferably in a photo, with your head tilting down. Can you see hollowing in this area? The seventh point that is important to your total look is your jawline. Aging alters the smooth curve that runs from the chin to the back of the jaw. As we age, we gradually lose soft tissue in this area, leading to less definition along the jawline. As you tilt your head forward, do you notice changes along the jawline? Is it no longer smoothly defined? The mid-face is particularly affected by volume loss, and over time, cheeks that were once full and well-defined can begin to look flat with a hollow appearance. Turn your head at a 45-degree angle. Do you notice a loss of the full curves of the mid-face? Do your cheeks now appear hollow? All these areas influence our total look. So, what are the treatment options? Dermal fillers, including those made from naturally occurring sugars, can be used to replace volume at these key points to enhance, rejuvenate or restore structure with natural looking results. Understanding facial changes and what's possible means you can make the most of your natural look today and plan for tomorrow. Did you notice signs of ageing at these eight points? Talk to your clinician about a full face assessment and the eight-point approach now.